Welcome back to another video. So you guys won't believe what Gwen Demandai just said about the ANC case at end. You know, it seems like they are really trying to remove it now and give a new ANC a chance because the ANC in case at end has been really fumbling for a longest time. You know? Now Gwen Dai is one of the people that wants to destroy it. He said it publicly. I'm gonna share a clip of him talking about the ANC in case at end. For continue, please do me a favor, do not forget to subscribe and make sure you ring notification bell. So guys, a lot of people have been concerned about the ANC in case of and before elections, you know. They saw it coming, they saw that the ANC would not really perform so good like it used to previously at KZN, especially because of Mkondoises and the situation that was currently happening in the ANC because of its leaders in KZN. Listen to what Gwit Mandashi said. KZN must rebuild the organization from scratch. It's destroyed. So you're saying, essentially, what are you saying? Disbandment or not? Not disbandment, rebuilding. You know, sometimes people think that to rebuild you must disband. It is not the best option. We have tried that many times. It's so difficult to rebuild from disbandment. But if you build from the scratches, from the rubble that is there, you build it better faster. So guys, for me personally, I feel like one of the main reasons that the ANC in KZN is not working out is mainly because of the leaders. You know? Siboniso Duma and uh, Begum Dolo have not, running, have not been running the KZN ANC so well because people are not convinced that they are real leaders. You know, They do not respect them and even themselves do not respect the people you know, and the Zulu kingdom. They made a very huge mistake when they disrespected the Zulu Kingdom. Siboniso Duma has been publicly showing how he treats his colleagues like Nomusa Dube, you know. So a lot of things have been happening, you know. They do not really act like leaders. The way that they have been carrying themselves, you know, they really uh, drained the ANC in Kizit. And I'm really surprised that they have not really removed them, even, even after they went below 40%. You know, MK Party took over KZN because of the carelessness of the ANC leaders in KZN. Siboniso Duma and Begum Dolo made people, you know, wash their hands with the ANC. They were like, we are really fed up of the ANC. They have been making so many promises. The corruption in KZN has been getting out of hand, you know. You know, and now the new premium in KZN is Tamin Dodi, you know, from the government of nation. And the ANC in KZN was forced to match with other political parties because they stood no chance anymore because of Mkondo with Sizu, you know, they just had no choice to match with a with the DA, um, IFP and other political parties, other smaller parties, you know. They have beaten Mkondo with Sizu in KZN because of the of of the of the unity with other political parties. Mkondo with Sizu get got more voters all the the ANC in KZN. So the ANC is really dead in case I act by the mandash. The current leadership must be removed immediately in case and in order to run the ANC again and make it progressive in case and you know. So big shout out to Gwede Mandash for trying to remove those kind of leaders like Pekim Dolo and Sibuni Saduma. Thank you so much for watching. You guys share thoughts on the comment section below what you think and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos to my channel.